leave a like on the video in 5 seconds if you guys think we should be able to gift the Season 9 Battle Pass. Yo what is going on guys, welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video here on my channel. So you already know what we're going to be talking about today considering we're in the hours countdown now until the end of Season 8 and upon that happening the downtime will occur and upon it lifting inevitably will entail the start of Season 9 going publicly live for everybody to hop on and play. So with that said, We've got a ton of teasers and a ton of things stringing together that I'm going to be going over in this video despite just the teasers officially released by Epic Games pointing towards what's going to be included physically, cosmetic wise within the battle pass and most importantly the main point of focus, the skins. Very quickly before we get into any of that information I'd quickly like to announce that I'm currently running until May 20th 2019 a battle bundle giveaway on the channel for one lucky subscriber to win. If we happen to hit 200k before season 9 goes live I'll give away two so make sure you're subscribing now but all you need to do to enter for a chance to win the Season 9 Battle Pass with an additional boost of 25 tiers to kickstart you off is leave a like on this video down below, subscribe to the channel with post notifications turned on so you never miss a future upload, when I upload whatever I upload, and actively use my creator code in the item shop on screen right now, and also will be showcased in the top left hand corner of the screen throughout this full video's duration. Also using my creator code and supporting me can only directly fund the giveaways to be bigger and better every month, I'm just saying if you want more V-Bucks given away every month make sure you're entering code friend the machine in the item shop. Anyways with that said the first topic of this video is obviously going to be going over the teasers. Now I'm not just going to be showing them and saying this is what they are because we already cover them as soon as they publicly go live on Twitter in short videos on the channel but more so what they're going to be once strung together like we can see here for four of the season eight teasers all four creating a bigger image or spelling out something literally in this case to be either New or Neo, because we're only going to be seeing three total teasers and obviously the O here in the concept that I'm showing you was made by a friend on Twitter called Fury who I'll link in the video description down below, so full credit to him, don't worry I haven't stole it, I've literally given him like a $10 gift card just for this image. Many of you may be sat there asking yourself, well why would it say Neo, I can understand New because everything is seemingly going to be new when season 9 drops because ultimately it's a new season with new cosmetics that we can only earn within the lifetime of this season in the battle pass that will never come to the item shop but Neo, what does that mean? Well, Neo is basically just a indirect way of saying new or a new form of something if you search up the definition, as you can see, I'm putting on screen right now for you guys when I've typed in Neo definition on Google. Upon looking at this definition, you can clearly see that it also states a new or revived form of something, meaning that something that's been destroyed, obviously considered dead now like Tilted Towers or Retail Row, could be revived in this futuristic way that's the caption, the future is, and then obviously a different way of describing what the future is entailed to be, whether unknown in the first one or in the second one that we've been revealed to as of now, being bright. This could be the case for Tilted Towers and Retail Row, also implied because Donald Mustard tweeted from the ashes, which obviously is the case or the current state, should I say, of Tilted Towers and Retail Row because they've been burnt to ashes or brung to ashes because literally a volcanic rock has struck these named locations, ultimately ruining them and everything is rubble, ash or just generally destroyed from the volcano event. Just to clarify also that we know the order of the wording is going to be as these teasers are released, N being the first letter of the word, E being the second letter, because Donald Mustard is obviously updating and basically retweet captioning these teasers as each letter is revealed and obviously today the caption or the retweet caption should I say states NE. The reason I believe it will be Neo though however is because it's an indirect manner and ultimately the format and the subtlety that Fortnite usually have implying something but don't directly reveal it to be until that thing is released. For example a new revived version of the Fortnite map or a new map overall being the basis or fate of Season 9. Before everybody starts saying we're going to be getting a new map, I don't think this is the case for Season 9. I think if they were to completely revamp the way we play Fortnite and the arena, ultimately that we battle on within Battle Royale, they leave it until the numerical order adds up to a certain anniversary, for example, the 10th season anniversary of Fortnite being Fortnite Season 10, having a new map revamp. With that said though, considering Fortnite like to go bigger and better and all out more so every season, it doesn't disregard the fact that we could be seeing some really crazy map changes and really crazy implementations to these map change areas such as new vehicles that we've never seen before. If we take a look and reflect back on the first two teasers, the first one doesn't imply much of what's going to be implemented to the game. Comparing it to the second teaser, however, it looks more face ferocious and ultimately status worthy to be the tier 100 skin. 
that implies to me, considering we've obviously seen the context before of having the first teaser be the tier 100 skin with the first season 7 teaser, that it is most likely to be the tier 100 skin. So, looking and obviously observing this second teaser that we ultimately compared the first teaser to, what have we got here? Well, we've got a kind of pilot themed skin, and with this mentioned, considering this is going to be a part of the battle pass, a very simplistic design that many people could have expected to be implemented throughout any season, considering we see a lot of random skins. It definitely is a big indicator, considering it's one of the first impressions we've had, pointing towards something literally going to be included within Season 9, that we're going to be seeing some sort of new air vehicle or transportation within Battle Royale. I'm not saying it's going to be lethal, that we're going to have guns on it or anything like that, like the airplanes and stuff, it may just be a method of transportation. And with that said, considering we're talking about air vehicles, the only thing that's ultimately caught our eye in several locations flying around the entire perimeter of the map during Season 8 is the helicopter. So do you guys think that we're going to be seeing some sort of air vehicle like a helicopter or something without guns that ultimately is just a form of transportation? Like the baller, but obviously an air vehicle and obviously more normal in terms of transportation or a device that can transport us within Fortnite Battle Royale. Despite this not being what the community want or anything like that, considering we've only just got rid of the airplanes and nobody voted for them to come back, if not 1% maybe voted for them to come back during the Unvaulted event, but that's besides the point. We could be seeing an underlying theme or for one of the theme too many cosmetics contained within the Battle Pass or certain skins, a military theme. I say this because the description for this military base was updated after the update 8.3. Now why would they do this for something that's untouched or anything like that? Why would they need to update something that's ultimately going to have no effect leading into the future? Or was this to tease that something was going to be coming based or themed with the military as a predominant kind of factor affecting Season 9 or playing a big part in it. Many of you may be thinking, well, we already determined the theme to be futuristic, but as you guys may or may not know, ever since Season 4 anyways, we've always seen multiple themes to the Battle Pass skins or cosmetics contained within that current Battle Pass anyways. For example, in Season 8, we have skins like the Peely skin that are completely random and nothing to do with any form of storyline or ultimate map change that have occurred and then the pirate skins themed around those pirate-esque location being Laser Lagoon that obviously do have stuff to do with these map developments and storyline changes. We know this because the literal theme showcased at the end of the Season 8 trailer itself is X marks the spot to do with pirates finding treasure. Speaking of the Season 8 trailer also, we usually see a feud or conflict between two areas or regions on the Fortnite Battle Royale realm, whether it's the Prisoner Skins Lava location or the Ice King's Ice location or the new washup of pirates as literally shown in the Season 8 trailer, or whether it's the superhero concept that we saw in Season 4 of Carbide vs Omega, the good guys vs the bad guys. Bearing this in mind and applying it to the themes, obviously tying them together, what I mentioned for the you know underlying basis for Season 9 potentially being futuristic and also military, could it be the military trying to fend off things coming from the future through the rift portals? We know this is definitely possible considering we had future items pulled through from future seasons into prior seasons. For example, when this carriage appeared at Moisty Mire that was a part of the name location and still is today, Paradise Palms. All of these ideas meshed together could ultimately shape the occurrence of what happens in the Season 9 trailer and also lay out a theme for them to base the cosmetics and especially the skins around within the Season 9 Battle Pass. Either way, regardless of what we've been revealed towards, leaked towards or teased towards, are you guys excited for Fortnite Season 9, especially the Battle Pass more so that's contained within it? I know I am. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys in today's video. If you want to stay up to date with everything Season 9, all the updates as soon as teasers are revealed, showing off new cosmetics or parts of them, then make sure you're subscribing to the channel. I do my best to get these videos out as quickly as possible, but to as high a standard as possible that I'm satisfied with, as I like to explain everything to a certain depth for everybody to be able to understand upon viewing it once. Also, make sure if you enjoyed or want to keep referring back to it with the points I mentioned tying in to have multiple themes for season 9 then make sure you're leaving a like on the video down below as this not only supports me but it can leave it in a suitable place for you to access this video again in the liked playlist. One final thing you guys can do to be absolute OG legends is use my support creator code on screen and has remained on screen throughout this full video's duration. Code friend the machine as you can see in the top left hand corner and if you tweet me proof to my twitter in the video description down below I'll thank you personally and obviously heart your tweet. Hopefully you guys can have an amazing rest of your day or night wherever you are whenever you're watching and i'm out have a good one take it easy 
and peace.